over thousands and thousands of years. A network of mystery schools built up along the Nile. And these mystery schools specialized in certain forms of magic. There were magical incantations, ceremonies and rituals for healing, and there were mystery schools dedicated to invoking the spirits which animated the stars and, of course, animated the sun. Now, it's often oversimplified that the ancient Egyptians worshipped the sun. Why exactly did they worship the sun? It's because they were studying astronomy. And this was a science reserved for the elite, for the pharaohs, for the super wealthy families. And they realized that everything, our solar system, the planets, revolved around the sun. And that the sun had this enormous gravitational pull and it was actually the central energy force that was creating the seasons and changing day into night. And therefore, this is why the ancient Egyptians decided to make the sun the center of their religious festivals. The sun was represented by a circle and sometimes that circle had a dot in the middle of it. That circle was often placed hovering above the heads of the pharaohs. But it's not as simple as that. The pharaohs believed that they had a spirit body and sometimes that spirit body was not in the form of a human, but it was in the form of an animal. And here we see the solar disk hovering above the head of a ram. And what the ancient Egyptians believed is that the difference between the physical and the spiritual worlds could sometimes mean the difference between a human form and an animal form. And they believed that when they projected their mind's eye into the spirit world, their bodies would shapeshift into the bodies of rams and other types of creatures. To the right of this carving, we see the human form of Amun-Ra wearing a crown of two giant feathers. Seated in front of him is Ramesses II, and he's holding a flail. Now, this flail was not used uh, to, you know, separate uh, seeds from wheat. For the pharaohs, they had thousands, if not th tens of thousands, of slaves to do that for them. The flail which he's holding is a representation of Osiris, a spirit who the ancient Egyptians believed was the lord of the underworld. And the flail would be used in ceremonies and rituals to scare away unwanted spirits and unwanted demons. To the left, you have an ibis-headed human. The ibis is one of the birds which is venerated in ancient Egypt. And this is Thoth, Thoth is the spirit who inspires writing and wisdom, and some people say he is the inspiration for the study of architecture in ancient Egypt. All over ancient Egypt we see these carvings showing gods, the pharaohs, the kings, the queens, and the spirits who they worshipped, who they believed, controlled the machinations of the universe. And we see people depicted in human form, 
and we see the same people sometimes depicted in their spirit form. And sometimes they would be human, and sometimes they would be creatures, and sometimes they would be a combination of both creature and human. <laughs> Above the head of the high priest, we see depictions of Anubis. And then there is a garland type design showing snakes with the solar disc above their heads. And above that, we see a falcon headed deity again with a cracked solar disc above his head. This is what you call a stelae, and this panel represents some of the deities, some of the many hundreds and hundreds of deities which were worshipped in ancient Egypt. Behind me on this wall you see carved a boat, but it's not a physical boat which is designed to travel the sea, though the ancient Egyptians really did traverse the entire globe. This boat is a spiritual vessel designed to voyage into the spirit world. And in many of the temples along the Nile, we see models of boats placed in very, very, very sacred chambers. And it is the boat which the pharaohs believed would carry their spirits after their physical bodies died into the realm of the astral spirit world. And it is there that they would take on the form of their spirit body. Sometimes that would be similar to their human physical body and other times they would shapeshift into say for example a composite being with the body of a person but the head of some kind of creature. So these boats were very much a very important part of the mythology that the pharaohs believed in. Mm -hmm. 